Okay, we're gonna work on figuring out when we're given the boundaries of a confidence interval to estimate P, can we work backwards and figure out what the point estimate was and what the margin of error was? So first of all, let me draw you a little picture to help you understand what we're doing here. We've got P hat, which was the point estimate that came from a sample where we figured out how many successes there were divided by how many total trials were run. Based on those boundaries, 0.222 and 0.888, I can figure out what P was and what the margin of error that was subtracted and added onto P were if I find the midpoint and half the distance, because this is two times E. So if I just take the distance between those two values and divide it in half, I'll have the margin of error. And if I do the average of the two points, that'll be my midpoint, P hat. All right, so that would be taking the lower boundary and the upper boundary to add them together and divide by two would be the midpoint, P hat. And then the E would be the upper boundary minus the lower boundary, so I can get the distance between the two endpoints and then divide that in half to get E. Let me just do a little erasing here. So I'll plug in the values. So P hat will be found by doing 0.222, oops, sorry, 0.888 plus 0.222 divided by two. And then E will be found by doing 0.888 minus 0.222 divided by two. So let's do the math, shall we? Grades. All right, for the margin of error, don't ask me why I did that one first. I got 0.666, ooh, the devil number. 0.333 is the final answer. All right, let me do the other one. And for the P hat, what I got was 1.11 divided by two and divided in half is 0.555. So that's it, that's how you work that one. Here's a bonus track. I will give extra points to anyone who wants to do the proof of the proofs, plural, of the two formulas, P hat equals P hat plus E minus P hat minus E, or plus for the midpoint you add them and divide by two. So the proof is P hat plus E plus P hat minus E over two. The positive E and the negative E cancel out and then I have two P hats and the twos cancel out. So voila, All right? So if you can show me that, I'll give you some extra credit. Now E, let's change that to a minus. And then you'll have P hat plus E minus P hat plus E over two. Well, this time I have a P hat and a minus P hat. So I end up with two E over two, which equals E. All right, there's some extra credit for you. You're welcome.